Admitting he doesn't say it lightly, former San Antonio Mayor Julian Castro calling President Donald Trump a racist today in Iowa. It happened during his exclusive interview with our Steve Spreester at the Iowa State Fair, an interview where Castro talked about his brother, El Paso, and the legacy he hopes his campaign for president leaves behind. This was clearly Julian Castro playing offense. He knows his campaign is at a critical juncture as it heads to the Iowa State Fair, and he was very critical of the current resident of the White House. There's no question in the last couple of years there's this environment that the president has helped to create that is anti-immigrant and anti-Hispanic. Good morning. Julian Castro comes to the Iowa State Fair looking for votes, but he's also very aware of his history. How much do you think when you're out here talking about being the first Latino candidate for president? I think about it. Um, people bring it up all the time, uh, but also I feel like I have a special responsibility to a lot of uh, young Hispanic boys and girls that are getting to see somebody that looks like them. To me, it's exciting because it means that they're, they're noticing. Araceli Good and her friend Mary Campos saw Castro speak last night at a Des Moines rally. Seeing the cameras and the attention their favorite candidate was getting today had them energized. Hey, Mary, how are you? For me, there is special meaning in being able to go and hopefully show the best part of what our community can be, what we can do to show people that it doesn't matter what the color of your skin is. Castro thinks El Paso and the targeting of Hispanics in a mass shooting has magnified the importance of his presidential run, a run that has taught him a lot about himself. I relearned the fun or the joy of that, of actually connecting to people and hearing their story, hearing what they want from their president. Just like almost 20 years ago, I was going around the neighborhoods of San Antonio and figuring out what people wanted from their councilmen. But how long this campaign will last will have a lot to do with whether or not he can qualify for the next debate in Houston in September. The new rules for the debate say you have to have 2% support in four national polls. At last check, Castro is one poll short. In downtown Des Moines, Steve Spreester, KSAT 12 News. And President Donald Trump has denied being a racist. He also condemned racism, bigotry, and white supremacy during a speech at the White House after last weekend's mass shootings.